Yo, what up? It's Roger from the Mascarilla Podcast. We did it first. Remember, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Mascarilla for more interviews with your favorite emerging artists. Today, we got a rare interview. I probably say that a lot, but this one's actually really rare. We got Cemetery Hackle Haunted Mound in the Mascarilla office. You know how we do it. What's going on? We in L.A. Who in L.A.? <laughs> Who in L.A.? <laughs> Link tap up. Tap in, tap in. Uh, you guys actually put on your Instagram last night that you were in L.A. and you met some fans. Yeah, a couple fans came through. Like a little ass kid came through. It was hella fire. And then some <laughs> random ass fool was trying to take a picture with us. And he didn't even know who we were. And oh, I was yeah. like, do you know who we were? Do you know who that is? And he was like, yeah, yeah you like, that nah. rock band. He's like, like rock band. Like, I was no. like, nah, bro, no picture, bro. He's like, no, I saw you snap a photo with someone else, and now I want it. I said, you that rock band? Hell nah. But like, you linked with like a young ass fan. It's crazy. You have so many fans. Yeah, young, that bro was like old. thirteen, bro, at the most. And you were at like the Louis store or some yeah. shit, right? Someone like ran upstairs. It was hella funny. Yeah, we were on the third story, just like chilling, and some like girl came out with like the cemetery hoodie and was like, <laughs> can I get a picture? Shouts out for real. She had the hoodie on and everything. I had the same one. Wow. Yeah, Matching yeah. twins. <laughs> Shouts out the that fans. That somewhere. Uh, it's your first time in LA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like on some Haunted Mound shit. First yeah. time ever. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I rare. came when I was like a kid. Like uh, like Disneyland and shit. But. Because you both currently live in Northern California. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit up in the sticks. Yeah. In the forest. Shit. Something like that. Something like that, you know. What's the name of the there. house? We call it the Butcher House. The Butcher House. Yeah. You, you know where at, we stay? You live at the Butcher House in the woods. Location undefined. Yeah, that's that top secret. Yeah, that's Do that. not pull up. Do not pull up. <laughs> if you see any Never. photos on their Instagram, there's a million reasons why you shouldn't pull up. Yeah. Because uh, it won't end well. But anyway, nah. so <laughs> our... We don't call 911. <laughs> nah, never. You'll see the signs, too. So are y'all from up there? Yeah. I'm, I'm from up there. I grew up I grew up even, like, deeper Northern California. And I moved, like, farther towards civilization. Now we're kind of back in between. Yeah, and I'm from, like, San Jose. Now oh, I moved okay. out to, like, uh, like Sacramento area. Like, uh, I don't know, like, 2016, something like that. That's like a similar location. And this is the first interview. First yeah. video one ever. <laughs> I did some little video. janky ones, but this is the first real one. You've done like Mass Gorilla. You've done like over the phone or email. Text. I think I did an over the phone one once. Yeah. But, but yeah. this is if people were surprised that this is even happening. A lot of people thought it was gonna get cancelled. Yeah, shit, we gotta come through shit. for the boy though. <laughs> but we're goaded, here. bro. Mascarilla, wow, bro. Thank you. You gotta recognize the goats, bro. For real. It's, of course we do it with Mascarilla. <clears throat> it's very interesting because, you know, I think people have separate perspectives on Mascarilla and when they found out about it and what it means to them. You're like a real fan. We're big fans, bro. <laughs> for real. I'm my Shout fan out. shit, bro. <laughs> Shout out. It was hella like crazy when we like pulled up. And I seen this room. I was like, yo, bro, I never seen this shit like behind the camera. For real, hella shook. I was like, God damn, there it is. Yeah, because I seen I seen the office first and then I came in here and I was like, bro, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, bro. I have to be here. Thank it's you. It's fucking crazy. crazy because I feel the same way about y'all. I'm like, oh my God, this is like some legendary artist. I can't believe damn. I'm meeting them. So it's the mutual feeling. Uh, <laughs> but with that being said, like growing up, you're a fan of Mascarilla. You're a fan of some underground rappers. What was like the first interaction with the underground in this whole world? You can go ahead. First interaction, like just like fucking with it, or yeah. like uh, what's like your earliest SoundCloud memory? Like Young Lean and Black Cray, still the goats, always. Yeah, for real. Yeah, it was like Black Cray, or it was actually uh, like Divine Council first, mm -hmm, and then I yeah. found Black Cray. Yeah, and just from there, I just started listening to yeah. that shit what was it like growing up in, in northern california like what was like middle school like for y'all what were your parents doing you got any siblings uh, uh i got a brother shouts out um yeah. growing up just i don't know pretty boring and regular just like existing yeah kind of, <laughs> kind of rednecky where i'm from i don't know it's cool and what were your parents doing for a living uh, my dad does like music 
production type stuff. And uh, my mom's like a painter among other things. So artists. So you're cut from that artist cloth. Very much so, yeah. And your dad, from what I understand, you say music production, it was like film scores and TV stuff? Yeah, he does He does a lot of stuff like that and hella other things, yeah, but he's not hella industry. Shout out the haters. Fool, fools be like, oh, Cemetery is an industry plant, shit like that. This is not true. Like, bro, did you hear Rainbow Bridge 3? Does that sound like an industry plant? <laughs> because real. Hell from nah. My- from my light research, your dad <laughs> worked on the Pokemon movies. All right, I'm gonna clear this up once and for all. So he did one song on the Pokemon movie in 1999 when he was working at like a jingle writing house. Mm. They forfeited their royalties, I think, to like even get on that or something. So the one song he did on the Pokemon soundtrack before I was born, he's never made a cent from. It did he get a plaque for it? Because no, nope, nothing. What's crazy is that soundtrack. I've happened to seen a plaque for it in real life. It was what that, the fuck? Yeah, it was at like the Warner office. Someone in legal worked legal on that thing, and the plaque is so fucking sick. It has like Pikachu and yeah. Charizard, and it's like Damn. the coolest plaque. We gotta get your dad for real. We gotta get my plaques. dad that. Nah, yeah. he never made any money off that. I That's wish I did. Up. I wish he did, bro. But nah, we'll be on some wild nah, shit. With we that. we I built this myself, and we built this ourselves. We do it ourselves. There's no uh, secret hidden funding or Illuminati. I influence. also don't think kids know what the music industry is or anything, so they hear like, "Oh, music producer," and they think he's like, yeah, yeah, owns shit. some record label or something. It's like, no, it's a completely different side. It's not even like the music yeah. music industry. It's like the yeah. film industry. Yeah. We um, we have him mix some of the beats sometimes because he has yeah. expertise in that area, but. Is he getting points on those songs? Yeah, he gets. We get. We get the all the percentages and everything. Of course, come on now. It's all the haunted family. mound plaques on the way. For and real, we need that. Tap in. Your, your mom's a painter. Your brother is he older, younger? A little younger. Plays piano. Paints. Shout out. Skis. He's hella cool. Shout out. Yeah, he's hella cool. That's the goat. And your family. We got any siblings? I got a sister. She uh, she's cool. She's uh in high school right now. So she. Nice. She'd be kind of mean sometimes. <laughs> She's hella cool. Is uh, uh, she like a Haunted Mound fan? She'd be listening to it. I for got real? her like, yeah. Damn, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Remember, I got her the hoodie for Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like before it came out. She's hella hype. Do her friends in high school, I, I, I'm sure they know about you guys. Yeah, it, it's, it's fucking crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah. Man. I'm just like, it is crazy. What don't be fuck? telling them too much. Shit like that. Yeah, we got to keep something secret. Yeah. Shit. We'll get to that later, but your parents what were they up to my mom what was just working now? like in an office like customer service on the phone and shit like that my dad was like between jobs like growing up shit like that in san jose it was like hella expensive couldn't really afford it that's why we moved right. out to sacramento and what was like school like for you were you playing sports were you in clubs Did i played i played friends? football i played football oh, nice yeah that's really it though and i skated hella too what was that were you wide receiver, cornerback? Oh, I played defensive end. Damn, defensive end. Lore. I saw that yeah. from a mile yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that football looks like a lore. defensive end. I didn't really like like athletes though. Yeah. I was always like listening to some other shit. I was always like on some other shit. I wasn't really rocking with the athletes because they're all on like some normal shit. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, they weren't on a Masquerilla podcast. Nah, in not, at all. not at all. They're always like hating on some shit I was doing too. Yeah, yeah. 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 shit lame, but whatever. So. uh when did you start doing music? Like, what was, like, how old were you? Why did you choose to, Shit. from like a fan to, I want to record? That's like a large step to take. What is, made yeah. that happen? Uh, I always fucked with music, like, since I was a little ad boy. And um, I think I was like 11. I started like fucking around, like, GarageBand, like Logic and all that shit. It's making like trash ass dubstep because that was what was big at the time. Yeah. And like, Skrillex I listened to a little bit of Witch House back then, so I tried that too. And then, um, yeah, just like through, I think I, I was just fucking around, fucking around. And then I was like 16. And I was hella into Young Lean. And I saw him on the Warlord tour mm-hmm. in like San Francisco in 2016, around there, whenever yeah. that tour was. And I saw that show and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a rapper. What about that experience made you want to? It was just like, there was hella... I don't know, like going dumb, and they had a crazy visual show, and like auto tune, and I like knew a lot about them, and thought they were hella cool, and I don't know, I could kind of make the beats already, 
mean, not like white armor goat status right. style, right. but like I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I can do it because I knew like it was just them making it, and like Black Cray, who was also a big fan of and still am, like I knew he was like making his own shit and mixing it and doing the beats and doing the artwork, and that's how Sad Boys do it too. So I was like, I can do this. All right, I'm gonna do it. And what about you? What was your first? Is it the same story? Nah, I, I always like wanted to be like an artist, and I fucking sucked every time I tried. Like I sucked fucking ass, and then I linked up with this fool, and he just like hella put me on like this shit, and now I can finally make some like good shit. So I, like, shit. we're gonna get to how y'all linked, but first let's continue the cemetery lore. Uh the name, the image. It did it all come at once? What was image, it over bro? time? Just like your whole vibe. <laughs> I know, I'm just, like, I'm just how did it all happen? Was it uh, instantly like, I know I want to do this because I like Witch House and I like this and I'm going to take these elements? Or was it... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, let's do a lot of Salem who haven't didn't have any music, new music out at that time and hadn't for like hell along, like years and years. I was always listening to them, listening to Young Lean, which had like influences from Salem and like Black Cray who had some like Salem references and like put their songs in his videos sometimes and shit i was like i wish there was more rap music that sounded like that and like young lean and i was like damn nobody's making that i guess i could do that and i was already wanting to like do some music so i felt like there was an opening so started making that and how did you settle on the name uh it just you know sounded hard it just sounds cool kind of fits the the music and shit and no. it's like weird it ain't that good for google search but it's not fuck it <laughs> if there's fuck a movie it, called yeah for real when the lawsuit about to hit or something i shouldn't jinx it yeah there's a movie called pet cemetery yeah. but i think at That's this a good point movie, though. i actually think recently s- search engines have been separating it just in general like they break it into it's it's oh, do like they how, now i don't really Wikipedia does it's so like if you type the name and you can click cemetery musical artist or cemetery movie or whatever damn from the jump uh but every day that passes as you get more popular you'll fill that front page up awesome let's go yeah. um so we gotta talk about this what uh the ghost mountain oh man yeah it, was he the first person that you yeah we were i was friends with him since i was like a kid and i was oh, always telling okay. him about the music shit like yeah i'm gonna do this at some point bro yada, 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 yada. we should do a song like that yada, 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 for like years and years so that was like your first collaborator yeah you everything. that was how did haunted mount come about was it you just started saying that in songs like i think i said it on fury road which is like our first song we ever put out and then he said it on like nevada and i was like I'd be a hard ass group name and just kind of evolve from there. So I guess once and for all, you can answer it now and you never have to speak about it again if you don't want. What happened? Uh, he was just into more regular life stuff and I'm only about this ever. So, you know, but I knew he was hella good. So I was like, bro, you should really do this, bro. You're going to be really big, bro. Like it's super fire when you do it. Yada, yada, yada. And he was like, kept coming to the studio with no lyrics written or nothing and didn't show up for videos hella flaky when i would drop all those tapes like the first four or something he never pulled up to like celebrate it once because he had like other things going on Mm. and yeah that just led to tensions when one person's really into it and the other one's like it's a hobby so he got into other things and i don't do other things so that's that because I guess as the internet says, like he went to college or something. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. like, so that was more of a hobby he was doing. And this is clearly you've committed your entire life to. So yeah, yeah. it's just so, going mean, to create a not, natural yeah. rift. Yeah. Uh, are you still friends? Do you talk at all? No. It's just he had over. Some, so he had some mean things to say about us, probably because he's sore he ain't here with us. But, you know, is there, what okay. can you do? Last question. Oh, good. Well, there's two. Uh, like, hit me with it. Hit me with okay, it. Okay, so one, the music, this is also like the most asked question. The Why is the music down? Because uh, if I left it up, it was just going to get more and more streams at the top of my shit, and I can't even perform that shit. Yeah, so that like makes worthless. it hard. It's still out there, though. You can still get yeah. it. Like, it's, it's not there. like it's gone forever. 
But, but you do make a really good point of like, you literally can't perform at a concert. Yeah, and I, I, ain't finna, if, I ain't finna be at a concert and have fools singing some other fool's lyrics who's not even like there to go and hard. Like, especially like, like if here. you guys aren't cool anymore, then it's like, maybe he doesn't even want that anyway. So it's probably best yeah, I don't know. I just didn't ask to him. leave it in the past. Uh, with yeah. that being said, last question. Let's hear it. Can he ever return? Is there a future where there's a glorious comeback? I mean, if you're down to do this full time, I'm always open. Like people, that's how I come with all the new guys that I put in. Like it's full time or nothing. So like, it's not a hobby thing. This is like, it's got to be your life or it ain't going to last. So, I mean, maybe if he came like that, but I think we're both too proud for that to ever happen. <laughs> I'm going to make it my personal mission. One day, not now, maybe five years from now. You're going to get me heated, partner. (laughs) I'm going to have a sit down with the both of you. We're going to smoke a shit ton of cigarettes together, and we're going to clear that up. But I mean, only one of us is making every beat and mixing every song and editing every video and making every artwork and promoting it and everything. Talk your shit. So, I mean, he'd have to come through and be like, I really want to go hard, bro. I'm sorry about how it went, but ah, fuck that. Who was the next member of haunted mound after oh that's a good one yeah so it was just me basically like rainbow bridge two i think it was mostly it was that shit that shit was fading away and um buckshot and oscar shout out buckshot and oscar um they were making like these hella crazy edits in like haunted mound style but like different and they were the first people to do it where it was like actually good and like actually brought something new to the table just like crazy photoshop fucking around type shit wow. so i was like hitting them up just like talking to them because they seem hella cool and i was like do y'all ever do music like are y'all into that at all and they were like yeah we've been doing that for a minute and we just were chopping it up for hell long and then like um they sent me like the demo for this song called straw man and i was like that was like the first time i'd ever heard someone do my style and it was like good and different but still like huh. on a mound swag so i was like all right, you're in Haunted Mound. I'm going to do a verse on this. And I like wow. mixed it and sent the verse in like two days. And they were like, holy fuck. And where are they and from? Ireland by Dublin. Those are the boys right wow. there. Yeah, they, they still live there. And we get them out sometimes though. So you haven't, have you met them? Yeah, they came out to the butcher like yeah. last month. Making, I think I making saw their, photos of that. Making buckshots tape. Uh-huh. They were there for like a, like a cool month. Yeah. Like, a little longer than a month, I but yeah, think. But yeah, Buckshot was the first Haunted Mound, like new Haunted Mound member. And then Oscar, the producer, goaded. And then, um, but they were, it was all online then. Right. So I was like, fuck, I need some like real life help. So I like posted a story and like put out, put out a message like, I'm looking for help with Haunted Mound. If you're on the West Coast, hit my, hit my line. We and I was the one out. hit his line. <laughs> yeah. And you were like one of the first and you were the closest. And you yeah. had like an empty ass Instagram account. I didn't even know what you looked like. And I was yeah. like, all right, let's meet up. And he We're brought me hella he, cool from he like brought, just that day. He brought me like a big ass Red Bull because I was hella into Red Bull at yeah. that time. And I was like, oh, it's good. Shit, hella funny. But yeah, yeah we just like clicked like that. Yeah. And then we're so just, we're you were up hella. a fan at first. Yeah. 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 But it's all about the glow up. You weren't making music at the time or you were producing? No, I wasn't. I had like. I made, I was like fucking around. I had yeah. some shit under some like other name, like one one or two. It was two songs, and that shit was hell. Like I said, I was hella trash, and yeah, uh, that shit didn't, it didn't take anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. Obviously, I was just like fucking around. And even like when I linked up with him, I, it was already like I already like gave up on it. Like for like I was like inactive for like a cool like two three months. It only lasted like two months down wow. there. But, oh yeah, man, that shit trash. And I was what was around. your first impression of seeing him in real life? What do you mean? <laughs> like. Uh, you meet him was it what you expected i thought this fool was gonna be a dick <laughs> to yeah. be honest no nah, but he was hella cool we just like we were only gonna link up for like not even that long and we just like fucking kicked it for dumb long wow yeah yeah and then he started um he started filming videos for me cause yeah he was, like, i didn't have any friends so i was like this is my only friend now so i was like we should do videos bro so he did like we went dumb i think i think we did necromancer first Rainbow Bridge 3, I think, and then, like, Crucifixion. A bunch of those videos we were filming. And then, like, um, I was like, we got to get your music going, bro. So we started working on that. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned you didn't have any friends. Did you have friends before Cemetery started? 
and then they faded away or you just didn't have that many friends in high school no nah, i just didn't have any friends ever <laughs> like i mean like like what would you attribute that to uh i don't know fools is hella lame i don't care <laughs> like high school's gonna end y'all gonna fade away what's the point what kind of i'm curious i mean i always wanted to do this anyway yeah. like from like since i was kind of little i just hadn't didn't have it all like figured out so i was never really like caring about anything were you else. like were you like the kid who was in class in the back of the room sleeping were you getting good grades were you like failing out like what was the vibe uh i was pretty sleep yeah school's hella dumb or i was sleep in class oh my god school's not dumb if it works for you it works for you it so, was dumb for me and then um yeah i don't know just getting by like c's and maybe a b and so stupid bullshit i'm sure your parents or i don't know did your parents want you to go to college or they were like you got to be doing something you can't just be like existing so you either got to like go to college or get something going i did a little bit of college like 2020 oh interesting just like some bullshit movie wow, class that's like pretty late into you already making music yeah i mean you gotta make it work i graduated high school and i dropped grave house like the summer after wow i don't fuck around and then like i did like one bullshit college class like 2020 and then COVID hit and i just didn't do it and i was just like going dumb it was the class some movie some movie class oh okay cool hella like depressing like mental asylum brain injury movies wow yeah it was we- it was kind of fucked because it was like it was like COVID, so everyone's just at home. So you're in your, oh, your room, you're uh, in your room, like losing you your fucking mind. Oh, that fucking no, sucks. I wasn't on Zoom yet. Oh, it was like COVID though. So you're like, I'm in my room all the time, just like, oh, and then like you go to this class, watch these like depressing ass movies, go back home, and then COVID, COVID, like really hit. Right. And it was all Zoom, and I just didn't do it. Yeah, like fuck this. Yeah, I was like, I'm so good. So. I assume you're living at home at that point still. Yeah, yeah. When did you guys move out and start living together? October. October 1st. Yeah. No, like, like sept- end of September. Very recently. We're filming this early February 2022. Yeah, so you're saying yeah. October, yeah. Yeah, it September was, 2022. It was really hard to get a spot. It was hard as fuck, bro. We were both on the computer just looking for hell For like shit. eight months. Yeah. And did your parents support you moving out? Or? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. cool. It's, they were like... I mean, they never came out and said it, but I mean, rap careers and family life don't really mix too well. So they were like, "Yeah, yeah, if you're trying to do that, you should, yeah, that probably you're be the move. Holding if you have room, like, like, if you have the money for it, screaming and, into your microphone, they're probably like, yeah, yeah, you need to get your own place.' Yeah, yeah. So you know, we made it happen. We got the butcher house. Don't pull up. Don't pull up. Don't do that. What's it like over there? Fun. Shit. <laughs> it's hella peaceful. There's just dogs howling. And, you know, look at the trees and the grass. Go back inside. Chill vibes. Make a song. Watch we a movie. Just be kicking it for real. Playing GTA Five. Yeah. And now you're in the real Los Santos. For yeah, real. For we real. in Los we Santos. Here. Who here? Where Franklin at? Where Ammunition. Franklin at? Los Santos Customs. We I'm here. Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he he Franklin for real. Yeah. And you're Trevor. Shit. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's gonna turn into a meme right there. Uh, I've been said Trevor mode. Uh, been said uh, very first song I made. Uh, I said I'm in Trevor mode. You already know. I've like seen some uh, photoshops of people put your face on this. For real? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, That's so fried. Um. So, me and Cam were speaking before the interview, and he made a really good point that your earlier projects. Uh, weren't like that blown out weren't that distorted you could still like, hear the <laughs> instruments and stuff but the more recent stuff is like super blown uh, out. like where does that inspiration come from like a project over project where this sound kind of changes like where does that all happen and i, I mean just rainbow bridge three is blown out yeah. i wouldn't say screaming forest is that blown out at all maybe it's about as loud as they've ever been without the distortion but um uh i don't know i just thought it'd be like black metal projects because i was i was like i want to make a black metal trap mixtape it's like hella fucking crazy so black metal projects are always mixed super bad like really bad and i don't know i thought it'd be crazy to mix like a whole song i mean a whole tape like that because usually like random songs we mix crazy just for like whatever reason and i was like i should do this for a whole tape so i did and now 
I've moved on. It's mixed more normally now, I'd say. Yeah. And I mean, I think I've asked this probably like three separate times already, but everything about your style is so specific down to like the filters you use on your photos. Like they're like sort of fried filters. Like yeah. where does that, I mean, like you've already answered it. Like you are inspired by this and that, but yeah. like, I guess this is, it, this isn't even the question. I'm just impressed. Thank like, you, partner. It's all Appreciate very that. well put together. Uh, Thank you. I got the recipes for real. What app are you using to make your phone? Uh, I can't, you can't disclose, tell. I can't can't disclose tell. that. I can, tell some, you, I can tell you later, yeah. but I can't tell the it's world It's for sure that. some app that existed on like the first iPhone. And, like, <laughs> do I have an old ass iPhone and like no one can I do. We do have an old ass iPhone. No, it's, like, it's like multiple things too. No, it's not just one app. I bet. But yeah. We do use an old iPhone though. I won't tell you which one, but we, yeah. do, we do use that. I don't know. It, we just like to make it look cool. I don't know. The new the new iPhones are too fucking like soft and they're not grainy or crispy. Yeah, it's like shit. Yeah, they're like very uh, like 4K. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like that good rot. I feel like and like it just you goes use harder. Old cameras to film all your videos and yeah, we do, we do, yeah. And then I edit, I edit the videos and fuck them up even more. And I'll say this too. From your online presence to meeting you in real life, it's very similar. You are, For real? as he said, you're a lot nicer than I assumed. Uh, but I've done a million interviews with everyone from Kendrick Lamar at one point to yeah. Damn. Lil Peep to whoever. Yeah. And, you know, it's pretty rare that people come up in real life and it's that authentic. For and real? It's not just like a character. Like nah, you nah, live bro. and breathe this. Yeah. It's not it's not a character. Mm. What would I look like if I pulled up some regular ass fool in like gym shorts making this fucking shit? Right. Hell nah, bro. You for sure committed your fucking life to this. Thank you. It's very clear. I take pride in that. Yeah. You know how we do. Um what's like an every day in the life? for y'all you're waking up what time are you waking up what do you mean <laughs> <for breakfast? laughs> oh, are you oh, brushing no. your teeth are you yeah, yeah i mean we're teeth. What the okay so hygienic we're not dirty shower every day i brush my floss my teeth all you that shit. wake up at what time uh it's been it's all over for him bro. yeah i mean i've been known <laughs> yeah. to wake up at you know 7 p.m and go to bed at 10 a.m yeah not always though sometimes it, it's more normal it's, it's hella you know, funny some days uh i'll be waking up I go out there. He's on the couch. He's like, hey, bro, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm like, all right, it was good hanging out. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Hella funny. Or sometimes I'll just like, got we got like a date. We need to have something done. Like like Redwoods, wasn't it like that? Like, I think like I need to make the Redwoods artwork, which is like a song on Screaming Forest. And mm -hmm. it was like, I had to bang out some artwork so we could drop it. So it was like, I think we did the video and then we got home and he went to bed and I was, I just did the artwork and then it was like, 7 a.m. and he like got back up and i was like still there yeah yeah <laughs> Shit. It, was, it was hella funny fucking uh i went to sleep he's at the desk wake up he's at the desk crazy you gotta work hard to make this work yeah, what's the down. food intake looking like are oh, you guys eating man. microwave meals are you ordering in food are you waking up eating cereal honestly i we haven't got groceries at the house since like <laughs> since last <laughs> since like fucking december like before way before christmas Maybe heavy, going on, going dumb. heavy on like the Uber Eats, oh, yeah. Postmates, oh, yeah. ordering Yeah, the DoorDash driver is hella, always hella shook when they pull up because we got like scary ass signs yeah. and shit. Hella I'm always like, hey, can I have my food? <laughs> yeah. You have a really intense cult fan base. It's on the smaller scale right now, but it's, yeah. but it's big for where you're at. Uh, I've only seen it a few times over the years of me being in the underground for the past 12 years or however many years it is. Full OG as hell. Yeah. For real. Uh, you have really intense fans, which is good. It's also not great sometimes. Yeah. They're, they pick apart every single... This interview is going to get cut up into a trillion oh, yeah. small videos. They're going to post it here, post it there. They're going to say, mm -hmm. oh, he said this. That means I mean, this. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to edit it and make it seem like I said something terrible or something. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Because this is all pretty new for you, and now you have crazy fans, which is great, yeah, but also cool. not Shuts great sometimes. We just don't uh, pay attention. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I look at it, and I'm like, I'm never looking at this again. For real. 
They're kind of mean sometimes. Oh, they're oh, hella mean. They're hella mean. They I don't want like to paint them do. all in a bad brush because I'm sure 99% yeah. of no, your fans, yeah. it's just the, the that 1%, minority. Uh, they're mean as fuck, bro. And Shit, it's all right. You got to have yeah. some haters or you're doing it wrong. They probably just forget we're like real yeah. people that like see it, but I don't know. It'll probably make them buy a t-shirt if they're thinking about it, so it's all right with me, I guess. <laughs> do, whatever, <laughs> do whatever you got to do, I guess. You guys produce all your own merch and you ship it yourselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't print it, but yeah, we don't it. print it. But we you can't print it. it now. But yeah. yeah, which is very interesting because most people uh, probably don't. They use like other companies. Uh, do you like folding shirts? Why? It's the shipping boss right here. Know. It's it's not that hard. <laughs> I don't work some hard job. That's not even. It's right. not. It's not nothing, bro. You just fold a shirt, throw it in a bag. How drop it off. rewarding is it to see all these orders coming in from across the world and stuff? Feels fucking amazing. Yeah, that, it feels hella good because that's like really the only way we make money. Like yeah. streams don't really pay for shit, and we put out. We don't like. I mean, like I have a band camp. You can like support us if you right. want. You can buy the mixtapes, but um, I mean it's streaming now. It's YouTube. It's whatever. You can just watch it, stream it. You don't have to pay, but um. So that's how we like get paid and live our lives. So it feels hella good when people are like, "Yes, yeah, for I us, want so to shout out to you. all of them, bro. for real, oh bro. God. We wouldn't be here without them." Yeah, you have crazy supporters who support you fully. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it feels great. Very grateful. I like saw someone comment or something. They were like, "Yeah, I bought like four shirts all in the <laughs> same style because I want to support them." Shout like, out, wow, bro. that's yeah, crazy. If we if, if we you see can those... find that comment, send it to me and I'll fucking I got you. I'll come up. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. We usually sign those orders. Yeah. If we find big ones. So twenty twenty two. Yeah. We hear. You have a cult fan base. You're living on your own. You're doing great. What do you want to accomplish in the future? Uh we're gonna drop a bunch of music and hopefully play some shows and eventually tour probably next year. Sell t-shirts. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, we got... Do you want to hear about the tapes we got coming? Yes, please. We got... um, We've been working... We got Buckshot, his mixtape, Burning Barn, is coming pretty soon. It's about done. Gonna have a gang on it. Some crazy shit. And then we got uh, Turnabout from Utah, from the Haunted Mound. Um, you got a mixtape called Cutter Lane coming after that. And then we finna make the boy Hackle tape. Yeah, working on it. And I'll, pr I'll probably do another one. It'll be good. Got What's, lots of stuff lined up. Yeah. A lot of projects coming out. What's the greater goal for this whole thing? Is it one day you sign to a label? Is it one day you have your whole full on operation? Like, where do you want to take it eventually? Uh, we're getting everyone established first. Like, so we have, you know, a crew of artists and all that. Yeah. And I don't know, just touring and going hard. I don't think we'll ever feel the need to sign to a label unless we, I don't know. I don't know why we would do that. We can do, I feel like they need us more than we need them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, hopefully tour like the whole world. That'd be epic. Put on some rare shows, sell more t-shirts. For real. <laughs> A tour will be hella fire. Bro. Yeah. Or it's going to be hella fire when we do that. For real. Because the first Haunted Mound show should be on the horizon. It is on yeah. the horizon yeah, for it, sure. Yeah. It's coming. Sometime over the next few months. Yeah. 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 Quick shout out to Coldheart. For he real. hooked us up with our first ever right. performance at his that. show. Coldheart's the fucking goat, bro. Yeah, that's like, we got him forever, for real. Yeah, he was the in the right bay, there. and he was like, yo, I want you guys on the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hella real. He didn't have to do all that. Not at all. That's the homie forever on him, man. Yeah, shout out to fucking Coldheart, bro. Is that someone you were into at all? Yeah, were... yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I honestly like some of his older, more yeah. trappy drill mm -hmm. music more than the, like the pop emo type stuff but it's yeah. still the goat like c4 and shit you do with black cray yeah that's it was he, hard he made a crazy mixtape with black cray like way back yeah. in the day hella yeah, he's goatee. one of the ogs he's a goat bro yeah i was so shook when he was like fucking with this fucking with us on the internet i was like bruh the og bruh it's just crazy because like in high school like we'd be slapping these fools or like or cold heart and then now he's like my boy like we'd be texting and shit and like For real. It, it's, it's just hella out. wild shout out to him and it's really interesting. You have a incredibly specific music taste. Uh, I don't know. I just don't like a lot of the new stuff. I like, mean, yeah. I was playing a rap caviar playlist just to have it on in the background, and you didn't know 
anything. Nah. Like, you sincerely didn't know who it was. Like, it's not like you're like, oh, I don't fuck with this. Like, yeah. you know, some artists you knew, of course, like the huge Shit. ones. But even, like, mid-tier artists or whatever, you, like, never heard of them. Like, wow. I mean, I don't know. I go through a lot of new music because I'm always looking for cool stuff or artists to work with. But I don't know. It's just I think we kind of like the older styles of rap from, like, a couple years ago. And they don't really do those no more. So yeah. a lot of it's not really our thing. It's just wild too, cause we be fucking with like the same shit. It's a lot like, like one of the first times we linked up, I played this like rare ass song, and he's like, "Bruh, what'd you say? You said, oh, we're gonna get along for real. Yeah, we're gonna." It be was good. um, was it Slug Christ? Yeah, Seven yeah. Grams. Yeah, yeah, like hella rare OG wow. song. Yeah, Slug Christ. That I was slapping yeah, like back Slug then when Christ it came is out. the goat, bro. I bought a feature from him once <laughs> on wow. some fan shit. Rare he, like, lore. He like sent it to me and then just never wrote back because he's just like that's just how he does it. Hella funny. Yeah, when was that? Like 2020. Oh, okay. it's, on a song, it's on a song called Skinwalker. Hella rare. He snapped though. Shout That's out. Fire. That's the goat. You don't sell features, right? Uh, I do, but you know, price has gone up, oh, so people usually up. can't it's afford it. It's up. Yeah. Uh, you've spoken to me off camera about kind of newer artists. They have to like, you have to be a fan of them, and then they also have to understand where you're coming from so if someone hits you up and they're like i want a beat it's like what do you like what do you mean like i rap i make the beats i do everything like it yeah, has to be on your terms well it's just disrespectful to ask like a whole rapper can you just make me a beat so i can rap on it like right. fuck out of here bro uh -oh. if you want to make a rap song i'm always i'm probably down but hella disrespectful to come at me like that but yeah i don't know if i want to work with people i always try to make it happen is there any new artist you can think of that you like or would want to work with or no? Uh, you got anybody? No. Nah. Like, no, nah, I can't think of anyone. No. Nah. No, nah, I mean, that's not like crazy big. You're talking about like new or? Yeah, like oh, from nah. like a I new wave. I can't. I can't even. We don't even really know anyone, bro. I know. It's I mean, crazy. I yeah. check them out and I'm always it's just insane. like. It's insane. like, you, you, you know, da, da, da. And I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah, it's bro. so crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Not, not really. I wish there were. I would love that. I would kill for that. Yeah. But there aren't any. That's why I have a whole crew. Like I need, we need people to be with and have a community. Facts. Yeah. But I don't know. I hope there will be in time. You're a big fan of Chief Keef. Oh yeah. Uh, That's the goat for what, real. What are some of your favorite songs? What are some of your favorite projects? Do you remember the um, first time you heard him? First time I heard him would have been like twenty. I wish I could say earlier. It was probably like 15 or 16. Oh, that's not like that. <laughs> no. I, was but, like, um, I was like 12 years old. My cousin put me right. on. I was like, bro, this shit's yeah, you've crazy. Been, you've been on it longer. It's like crazy. I didn't have people putting me on to that type of music when I was yeah, little. No. But um, it was probably, besides like Don't Like and like the hella famous mm -hmm. ones that are in all the algorithms, it was probably uh, this song from Almighty So called Me. It was one of the first Chief Heath songs I heard, and I was like, holy fuck, this is crazy. Probably that one. Still my favorite mixtape. Hell yeah. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Chief Keef just goes dumb. And Hello. people people don't really make his old style anymore. So that's why we kind of go hard yeah. with that Logan. old style. But we add, our, we add our own style to it. Yeah. Yeah. And like Gotta he never, he's never fully like, oh, I'm going to just make like melodic trap beats now. It's like he just sticks to himself. He just, yeah, he just does whatever he wants. That's yeah. the way to do it. You don't need to follow trends or whatever. It'll be a lot more sincere and right. inter interesting and probably unique if you just do, like, I'm going to make this because it sounds cool. Right, not, exactly. Not for, like, I don't know, views and shit. Right. Yeah. You play the guitar sometimes. Yeah, I did. I've done a little guitar. I did it on Willows and I think some other songs. Yeah, I, I dabble. I could play some power chords and, you know. Usually I just play like rough ass, shitty ass takes and edit them all together into one, put crazy effects on it. You know, barely can play guitar, get it done. Is that something you learned by yourself or? Yeah, I mean, my dad showed me like power chords and I just sat there and did them. And yeah, I used to play um, piano and drums a little bit when I was younger. Oh, nice. I don't really do that anymore, but I did. Probably good for the old noggin for yeah. music. What's the recording process for you like? Are you writing lyrics in a notebook and then you make <laughs> a beat? Notebook. Do you make a beat first and then you hum to it? Like, how does it all happen? Almost always starts with a beat as far as the actual song making. I mean, we all have like notes pages we write random shit in for lyrics, but 
always a beat first usually or like someone will be like hack will hit me up like bro i want to beat like this and I'll, yeah. I'll, someone will make it from the gang or whatever and then usually you know pretty normal just send it through there right write a lyrics and then record it <laughs> just in right. the home studios usually or wherever we are and then i usually mix them so far so we usually bang that out yeah and it's interesting you have some anti alt right bars hell yeah which i respect shit where does that come from i like, mean are you a political person like where does that kind of stuff come from for you like why is it important for you to include that in your songs i mean there's a f lot of like fried right-wing shit going on it's getting more and more bigger and powerful in the world so i mean i'm not a fan of that i don't think that's a good a good way to go and i don't want those type of people to be my fans so gotta make it clear respect it yeah because a there lot are of some people wouldn't would be like, oh, I don't want to get political. But you're like, nah, fuck it. I'm going to fucking curb stomp this scum. Hell yeah. Fuck that, bro. Uh, I'm a fucking, I forget the lyric. Something, yeah, something there's a lot. blood. There's a lot. Uh, but um, yeah, I also just don't want those people to be in my fan base at all. Uh, and yeah. I want to make that clear. I mean, there have been some and I've been like, how the fuck? How are you a fan of us? Like, I would smack you if I saw you in real life repping that. It will suck. I do think these cold deep web internet fan bases like those type of weirdos are attracted to it so it's good to just make it like yo you're not welcome yeah i don't i don't know we just put it out and keep going don't really think about how it's received sometimes we probably should but um or i don't and i don't know just not we don't want none of that not a fan and what are your favorite brands i mean i think that's well established by yeah. now just, shit i don't know you know, true religion. True religion. I like affliction a lot. Affliction. You know, I like you our know, shit. You know how we like. You know how Ooh. we like to come. What's that bad boy? Uh, it's called an alabaster watch. Uh, Young Lean had one, so you know I had to get it because it's fire. I just got a red one. It's that coming. shit rare. They don't make them no more. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you finding those bad boys? Uh, you know, around. Secret. Around. What's the, what's that cost? How much is that? You know couple dollars couple bucks okay <laughs> couple dollars let's do a fit check head to toe Shit. watches necklaces included what do we got on right now Shit. i mean you know alabaster it's a true religion jacket you ain't gonna find this one nowhere rare uh, is that a harley necklace yeah which camera i hold it up to <laughs> the one you know, you know, the little angel one I had forever, like forever and ever. I've been wearing this since like 2019, probably. Wow. I don't know. It's just cool. Some trues. You ain't going to find those nowhere either. <laughs> These are from like 2006. They don't wow. make them no more. Uh, new rocks, new rocks, big stompers. The I saw usual you, uniform. I saw you comment or a screenshot of you commenting on the true religion Instagram. You're like, yo, this sh shit is trash. They you got to fucking bro. bring they back the so old big shit. Time they should hire us, bro. We'll they, make them like they millions. They really should. I've tried to hit them up and be like, we should do something. People would freak. And they, they're like lacking. I don't know who's running that brand. Uh, what you rocking though? Cool. Yeah. Shit. I got on the fucking Gucci watch, Gucci ring. Ooh. Got on <sighs> some, uh, some gold chains. Fucking what I got on, uh, Haunted Mount shirt, that same one right there. I heart Haunted Mount, the classic. Should've Get you got one. that one. Get you, you guys one. Should have got that one. Shoulda. Uh, got on some back, trues, though. new rocks, BB Truth. belt that I just got like two BB days belt. ago. BB belt. BB yeah. Belt. Uh, I think what's interesting is, and I'm surprised neither of you smoke weed. Nah, nah, just bad paranoia and anxiety. Don't need any more of that. I'm literally on the yeah. same tip. I, I can't smoke weed. I used to, but like I don't know. I started like freaking out off it, so I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I tried it a few times and I just like went fucking crazy. So it's just crazy because like I'm at good. one point I was smoking like hella weed. I wish but... I did smoke weed because so many people have offered it to us here. <laughs> I bet. Like you want some weed? You want some weed? I'm like, ah, I'm yeah. sorry. And but... they're always like, damn. It's because there's those times you smoke too much weed and then you start freaking out and then you think every time's gonna be like that. Yeah. And I just yeah. I just don't do it at all. So I don't even. I mean, it's fine sometimes if I smoke. Yeah. I don't do it. I don't do it anymore. But it'll be fine. Like, if I'm kicking with my friends, like, 
Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. And I don't even want to take the risk, so I just don't do it anymore. No diss, though. Yeah, Shout yeah. Out. I've heard my music is good to smoke weed, too. Yeah. So, I mean, go crazy. My dad I'm OG. all for it. Have fun. My dad's an OG. He smoked hella weed. Yeah. <laughs> since, since, like, fucking the 90s. <laughs> Shout out my dad. He's a real OG. And, I mean, it seems like you guys don't really do too much other drugs, either. Nah, not really. I mean... There's a little something in that yeah, cup, but yeah, yeah. what's in your cup is your business. Shout out Lil Wayne. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just you can't get too strung out. It's bad for business. Uh, yeah, fuck if it. If any of my guys are getting too strung out, I'd be like, get yourself together. You're fired. You can't fold t-shirts if you're too strung out. For yeah, real. for you real. Can't, you can't, can't fold them slow. Yeah, you can't like. <laughs> for a little time. You got to have your brain turned on a little bit to do this shit. What you guys do, though, you more than him, you guys fucking blow down cigarettes. Yeah, I mean. That, yeah. Like, I don't think. I'm I've com- seen I'm anyone like- chain smoke as many cigarettes as cemetery. <laughs> Mostly when I'm with this fool. Yeah. I'm a bad influence. I think I nearly <laughs> lost a lung on this trip because oh, I'm man. trying to keep up and it's impossible. Shit. That's how I feel, bro. Imagine living with this dude. We were standing in like a circle yesterday with some friends and we were having a conversation and literally the entire time, for like a half hour, you probably smoke like six cigarettes. Just Shit. one after the other. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. I got I got nothing. It's hard. I'm, coming, I'm coming like Thomas the Train, bro. Smoking, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's hella hard, bro, living with this fool. Because we'll just be kicking in. He has hella cigarettes. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to smoke it. And then I go to the gym next day. I'm like, fucking <laughs> dying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are you like, got to imagine you're buying them by multiple cartons at once at this point. You're not like headed to the gas station for a pack. Uh, I used to just buy the, the Reds, Marlboro Reds. Yeah. I used to be into those. I used to buy cartons of those whenever i needed them but they got kind of weak so now i buy marble that's always blacks. a bad sign yeah, when the probably. reds are Man. getting weak for you and yeah. you have to move to the blacks yeah 100s. i got the marble blacks now and the cartons are hard to find but uh the gas station clerk said he's gonna plug me so shout out to him shout out andrew yeah uh don't <laughs> don't start smoking yeah, nah. Don't I mean, do that. sincerely, don't because it's probably it's, it's bad for you. If you don't have like rapper money to just blow on it, yeah. Like, it's and dumb. then rapper money in twenty years when you have to go to the doctor. Shit. Oh yeah, uh, I'll be good. Okay, I'll, I'll live forever. So I think we've covered a lot. Did you guys have any tattoos? I see a little one. Are there any tats? Uh, my entire shit right here is full of tattoos. Ooh. But uh, this is just some dumb shit. It's like some small like heart, but fucking. Uh, oh, so you you a wimp, bro? You don't even. Anyways, uh, <laughs> fucking yeah, like all oh, right here. I got some dumbass like, pretty pretty fire, but some stupid yeah, ones. I got no tattoos. I'm lacking. We're finna get. I'm finna get Harold. Yeah, we're gonna do that when we go back to town. We're gonna get yeah. some Harolds, and I'm gonna get a bunch. I want to get a bunch of crazy ones, but you know. How do we get the mask gorilla tattoo on you? Shit. How much do I have to pay? To That's get... gonna be there forever, bro. Exactly, bro. Uh, I don't. I don't no. know. Prior to every interview, I ask for fan questions. There's typically a lot. Never got more fan questions than this one. Uh, Instagram won't tell me, but it's definitely in the thousands. When are the Harold chains coming back? Or are we getting new chains at all? If not, never. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> not the same ones. Not the same ones. Not at all. They missed out on that. So if you have one, it's hella rare. For real. Facts. How does the TikTok popularity feel? I don't enjoy it, but I appreciate it. Where TF do they get their trues from? The whole community asking. Online. From the pants store. (laughs) Yeah, and online. (laughs) From the pants store. Uh, When will they come to Brazil? Shit, we coming, baby. Thoughts on capitalism? No comment. (laughs) When another RB? I don't even know what that stands for. Rainbow Bridge. Uh, No, the trilogy's over. Trilogy's over. What's with the American flags? Uh, We believe in America (laughs) and freedom. Yep. How tall are you guys? We're tall as fuck. As tall as the trees, baby. (laughs) Burning barn, when? Soon. Shout it's out coming. Buckshot. It's coming soon. It's coming re- real soon. Real soon. If you could start over again, what would you do differently, if anything? Uh, More solo work. 
where are they getting the money for designer etc uh haunted mound t-shirts thank you everyone for your support favorite black metal bands um i like old bathory i like um i can never remember their names because it's black metal there's a guy called uh i think like thy light like some obscure russian fool he's hella good uh batushka is really good i think that's what it's called there's a bunch more but i can't remember all the people I sample on the Rainbow Bridge tapes are bands I like. What's Sam's favorite song he's ever made? Uh, I have too many songs. I can't answer that. That's the only time I'm ever going to engage with someone calling me by that. What's your favorite Cemetery song? Uh, Shit, which one? Fucking, uh, I like the ones that we did together. And I, oh, Hockey Mask. That's my favorite one on the on the uh, Screaming Forest. That's like my all time favorite shit. We were hella faded in the crib, and I had not heard it because I haven't been home when he was recording. And uh, he played it, and I just I was going dumb, bro. I was going fucking dumb. I woke up, my neck was like hurting because I was fucking <laughs> head banging Fool's so too hard. Turnt, bro. We're finna do a video for it. Soon. Yeah, that song goes fucking crazy. Fools have the nerve to hate on that shit. How dare they? Uh, you gotta have some haters. Got it. Dream uh, collaborations. Black Cray, Young Lane. Uh, Salem. There's about, I'd say at least 20% are these. Tell him to unblock me. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, I get DMs like that every fucking day. Why are you blocking so many fans? I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, look through the DMs, through the comments sometimes, people saying some fuck shit. I ain't finna be going. You don't need to be a fan of me if you're gonna be disrespectful. Sorry. Barn Owls when. Um, that's a Buckshot song, so it's gonna be on his Buckshot mixtape, which Burning is coming real soon. Burning Barn, shout out Buckshot for real. That's the goat, young goat, young buck. How many pair of new rocks do you own? Uh, I have like three or four. I only got the one. What the one are? Pair. I don't think I've ever heard of them, but like, what are they? They're out of Spain. They're just like European stomper boots, they're and like they're pretty called high quality. They're called new rock boots. New rock. Yeah. Like all one word or two separate words? Two words. New rock boots is like the real name, but they're just, they just go hard. It fucking put me on game. They're like some goth shit, but I thought it would go hard with trues and shit. Yeah. What would you do for a living besides music? Uh, I've never considered that an option, so I don't know. I have no idea, bro. I was just like going with the flow of things. What kind of trucks do you have? Uh, I have a Chevy Tahoe. I call it the murder ride. It has blow horns on it. I don't got a truck no more. I had a Dodge Ram. It was manual. Mm. No, nah, I don't got that shit. I, 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 I just got fire. a new car. It was hella fire, bro, but I... It had issues. Yeah. I had to get something new, new. What keeps you guys going? Um, shit's for me, fun. It's just fun. It's always hella fun. So it's easy to keep doing it. And I don't know. I just like doing it. It's always what I want to do. I always have more ideas, so it's easy. What's the process with the hair? I don't do anything. I just wake up. A conditioner, shampoo, hairspray. How do you get them looking? I don't do anything. I just, you know, wash it and there you yeah. go. I mean, and, I got to go to like a girl to like do my well, shit. Yeah. But I got dreads, but I mean, I wash them. Yours takes some work. Yeah, definitely. You They're hella busted them. right now. Got to get like a retwist. Yeah, I need one right now. <laughs> it's crazy because some girl on the, uh, somewhere in LA. Oh she, yeah, she like yeah. she like walked up and I thought she was trying to sell me something. She's hella cool. She just handed me a card and then like I I fucking drove away and I looked at the card and it was like some dreadlock shit. Wow. Yeah. Hustling yeah. out here for real. Hella rare. She seen how my hair was all trife and she was like, "Yo, you need this. Yeah, is you it need this. She dissing on the line. For real. A lot of the questions are about your hair. Really? Yeah. They're like, like, do you wash your hair? Oh. But like, is it wet? Is it greasy? Yeah, they think we're like unhygienic. It's just the frying makes it look like fucked. You ever, uh, you ever had any like Bigfoot encounters or anything supernatural happen in the woods? Ooh, I like Shit. that. Shit. We found, uh, to tell them about the thing we, that like. Oh, yeah. When, when we were filming, um. Bro, I forgot to grab it again. Oh, fuck's <laughs> sake. We, we were filming, um creeping through the woods and we went out like a good ways into like the actual far. woods over yeah. over the bridge and 
over the river and through the whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, hella and, far. Um, like hella far in the middle of the woods by some creepy ass graveyard. It was like midnight or one. And we were like we were like walking back from filming creeping through the woods. Actually creeping through the woods. Yeah. And we found this like stick on the ground, like six, seven feet long. Yeah, it's hella long, bro. And it's like uh, it's like it's like some like wood. Someone had like like nailed together some pieces of wood and sticks and there's like nails in it. There's like a like a what do you use to like like move grain or whatever? It's like, it's basically it looks like a, a fucking rake? weapon. Like yeah, someone made like, it, bro. It's like some insane fucking yeah. homemade oh, weapon. Like a, uh, it's like a big stick with some shit on the end, like something. nails. Yeah, like yeah. some pitchfork. But shit it had like the spikes. nails going down the whole thing, and it yeah. was like it was like a it was like a fucking piece of wood, then a stick on there that went all the way down, and then the fucking like nails are sticking out, like they like put it on there. Yeah, we found some like homemade murder weapon, weapon in yeah. the woods, and so I we have that now. Out. Do not pull up. What do you call your genre of music? Haunted Mound. Right there. I love Haunted Mound. Any uh, romantic partners? Oh, uh, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> In syncrasy, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, all these questions are just things I've already asked, so that's why it's taking me so long to. Fried ass fans. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna just scroll through them and land on one. Oh, do you ever plan on doing collabs with uh, non-Haunted Mound artists? I mean, there's a few people we do it with, or if someone oh, yeah. hard comes out, but other than that, not too worried about it. Favorite scary movies? Hereditary. Uh, yeah, Hereditary's good. I like this movie called The Ritual, Evil Dead, All the, the Evil Deads. The Witch really good. Um, there's a lot of rare runs rare ones i can't remember right now but evil dead it's probably one of my favorite horror movies ever evil dead 2 that one fried ass japanese one was hella fire too i forgot its name but it was like yeah it was like a documentary it, it wasn't it wasn't it was a movie but it was like a movie hmm. about this documentary about this like i don't even fucking know i've seen I so many i can't like remember them all but do you watch anime nah never really got into it hell nah People always say that shit look good, but I just never got into it. Uh, your favorite cereal? I like Reese's Puffs. Oh, that shit. Uh, what's this shit? It's like the with the the uh, craze with the chocolate in the middle. Oh, the that's time, that new yeah, shit. The first time I got that shit, bro, it was a box, a whole box. I killed that shit in like one sitting, bro. I was, <laughs> I was like fifteen, and that shit was hella fire. With milk or dry? With milk. That was back when I used to drink hella milk. <laughs> Some shit hacker would do. I went dumb, bro. I couldn't stop myself. Hackle's old music under Burlapper. Bro, they stay talking about that shit. That's the shit I was talking about. It's like I was a hella fucking trash and it was just like I don't know. They so they don't they don't have it. They don't like even having anything. They just they know about it somehow. It, the account had like a hundred and fifty followers. Like I was trying to be like fucking this fool and like Benny Revival at the same time or some shit. Some fried shit. It's all but, about the glow up. Yeah. How many cigarettes a day? Oh man. It's gotta be a pack a it's, day, right? Yeah, At least usually, maybe two packs. Usually a pack. Don't start smoking. But yeah, I don't usually know. a pack. I only really smoke like it's kinda it's all over the place. Keeps the mind sharp. I'm so nervous to stop the camera because I know the second I will be like, oh, I forgot to ask you about. This is such an important interview in the history of music. Damn, bro. That you feel it, that way? Bro, it will live forever. Yeah. You can, yeah, you can ask more. We're just cool. Man. Run it back. Yo, that's Roger from the Mask Gorilla Podcast. Uh, Yo, I'm uh, Roger from the Mask Gorilla Podcast. What's your favorite food? Oh, it's got to be pizza. Okay. What kind of pizza? You know, I don't eat meat anymore when I did. Yeah, same. A, a buffalo chicken ranch pizza. Okay. Chicken buffalo ranch. Oh. Yeah. I always thought that shit was trash, but it, I mean, if you like it, then... That's kind of rude <laughs> no, to I'm say playing. this on your interview. I mean, I think I might walk out of this interview. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, for coming yeah. on the podcast. This Hell will yeah. be a legendary interview forever. I appreciate you sitting down for your first interview with me. A lot of big shit happened in 2022. Thanks for having us, for real. Shout out Mask Gorilla. We're real. Here.
haunted mascarilla mound. For real. Yep. Haunted gorilla. Haunted gorilla mound. Yep. Haunted mound. <laughs>